Lane and the 96 Dion. Deion Sanders is going to have his work cut out for Bugs in this game. He is going to be matched up against the Randy Moss downfield. It all starts with Deion. How does he match up downfield? Can he hang with Moss on that swerve? But on offense, he really needs Chad Johnson and Randy Moss to set the tone for his offense. And Matt Stafford, how does he play for Bugs? This is kind of a pick at the quarterback position a lot of people disagreed with. Yeah, he likes Matt Stafford, but did not look well in game number one for him. On the other side, it's... Volterax, the swerve bot himself from Massachusetts. You know he's got support. Both of these guys do. Actually, in the studio, he's ranked number 27, and he's 1-0. and Yeah, Volterax coming all the way from Massachusetts here, but it's all about focusing on his ability to swerve downfield. Can he get the ball to his big receivers? It's going to be fantastic to see. Well, let's take a look at his picks. Not shown as his grandpa, because that's part of the roster, I can tell you that. Night Train Lane and Deion Sanders. Night Train Lane, Deion Sanders, yes, that's a focal point, but Boogs, or uh, rather, Volderex really relies on that Randy Moss to dominate games. But Chris Johnson is a developing factor here. He really separated himself in that game against Kerry Q with that overtime uh, run for the win. Let's take a look at the scattering report brought to you by our good friends at Xbox. For Bugs, it's all about getting quick pressure on Volderex. You cannot give him time in the pocket to let the swerve develop downfield. If he can generate quick pressure off the edge, force early throws, that is a good sign for him in this one. For Volterax, what he's got to do against Bugs? Call him Voltron, call him Swerve. <laughs> what were you calling him? I mean, you call him whatever you want. Yeah, he Swerve just bot. Live or die. You heard the scouting. We should get Vol Grandpa Volt up here to do the scouting report because it's live or die by the Swerve, yep. and that's what you're going to see here from Volterax. I tell you what, if there was a Grandpa Pot Volt card, it'd be a 99 motivator. See if it comes true. Here for that young man. Plus two swerve. He spent the third highest on his quarterback. It's a Donovan McNabb, who's a 99 elite. He spent the fourth highest on his halfbacks as well. And Randy Moss is going to be the guy. You can look at that. He wins 87 percent of the time on the ladders. That's a lot of games, my friends. That I mean, That's a, a million games. That, for all, that could be a million games. You know, that you hear 10,000 hours, how you become an expert at something. Yeah. This guy is putting in his 10,000 hours. Take just those games, 1,300 and times it by 30 minutes. Can't do that, man. Tell me what that runs <laughs> out to be. That, that's a man. lot of hours. <laughs> well, Boggs is going to get the ball first. He threw four interceptions in our last game. Still rocking the Matthew Stafford jersey. Of course, his family in the crowd. Yep. Here to support him as well. And not to be overshadowed, Boogs is an amazing man. Good family man. Really been an inspiration to a lot of the Madden players. On and off the field. First and ten. Stafford shakes one. Able to find Johnson, and he's going to pick up some yards out to the 48. Well, okay, Matthew Stafford. All right, Matt Stafford <laughs> confirmed playing well in this one. You never anticipate your quarterback breaking a sack like that, but great way to start this one for Boots. Goes back to the pass again. It's a C route to Harrison. Yeah, I play Matt. Great recognition off that edge right there. A little corner route. You're going to see this time and time again. Books floods the left side of the field with a flat pattern. We call it a table route. And then a sideline corner behind it. Tell you what, it's a different look on defense. Just a one high safety back there. Stafford throws it to the sideline. and All right, it's a brand new game. Matthew Stafford's three for three. Yeah, Book certainly feels comfortable attacking this cover three defense you're seeing from Volt. He's sending corner blitzes, so off the edge, it's really difficult to pick up uh, against uh, the blitz. Split back formation. Saw him use it in the first game. And he'll hand it off to Ivory. And Ivory will pick up the first down. So a new set of downs at the 14 for Books. He's on a drive. And there you see right here, the DB fire press. That's the defense you're accustomed to seeing Volderex in on a consistent basis, but he has shown here a couple new defensive play calls for his defense. So ball at the 14, first and 10. Boogs 0-1 for the number six player in the Madden world. Stafford throws it to the end zone. It's picked off by Night Train Lane. And Volterax. 
Volderex has said to us in the past, he excels with his red zone defense. We saw him do it in the Madden Challenge. We now see him do it here again in the Madden Championship. First possession, that's how you start and get ready, boys and girls. Chat, we'll throw your swerves up. You can see, clicks on, gets the interception, in business. Sides are running on the first play, and it's CJ2K, and we talked about RG made a great point about that. It's an NFL Combine player, and he matches him up with Darius Hayward Bay to give a little extra boost. Gives him a plus one speed boost. So now you're looking at a 96 overall speed, 96 speed Chris Johnson to add to this offense. Absolutely dynamic for Volt. First and 10. The main thing you want to do is you want to figure out where Randy Moss is. He goes back to the run. And this time, Chris Johnson can't get loose. It's going to bring up second and 10 for Volt. Yeah, identifying where that Moss is on the field is the starting point. Absolutely. You find him, OK, this is the guy he's going to probably go downfield to and go for the swerve. So you identify where Moss is. Right here, Moss is out on this left edge. Right there, we circle him. That's the guy for a swerve potential. So second and 10 after the gain of zero on a run by Chris Johnson. That is 99 McNabb, and he throws it. Just overthrow Zach. Time for a game break. Scott Carey Q trying to become Carey W. He's trying to get his first win. Great run game. Almost breaks it all the way. Gets out of bounds. He had those two fumbles in the first game, but he cashes it in. That's beast mode. Seven nothing up over franchise. So franchise is one and zero. Carey Q is 0 and one after an overtime loss to Volt. The swerve formation. Motion inside, look for Johnson as well here now. And that's pretty much a Stevie, Todd. I, I tell you, that's a great first defensive possession from Boogs right there. He gets fourth and 10. Looks like Volt's gonna go for it here. And you saw what Boogs did there to protect against that swerve downfield. He dragged his deep safety about 20 yards further downfield to help him better, with better positioning against it. Look how far back they are. Look at these safeties, they're very far back. A lot of cushion here on fourth down. Now, and finds the first down. That's, I'm all about backing up, avoiding the swerve, but that's a lot of cushion there on fourth down. Yeah, you don't want to take a look right here. You can see Bugs actually drops a defender right in here, but he drops too far back in coverage. He doesn't protect the sticks, first down volt. So a new set of downs as the chains are moved, and he picks up two. On the ground with Chris Johnson already averaging seven yards a carry. But that is exactly what happens when you have a thing like the swerve in your back pocket. It <laughs> opens everything else yep. up for your offense. It dictates the flow of the game. Now go back to Chris Johnson. And right now he's chewing up yardage. Third and five. Ball at the 49. And a lot of time's already gone by. Yeah, third and five now. If you're Volt, yes, you still have the swerve option, but you've been running the ball pretty well. Keep dinking and dunking as well with your offense. That makes the swerve that much harder to defend. To be honest, he, he hasn't swerved yet. No. He, I mean, he went for one, but wasn't there. He, he yep. threw it blindly. Yep. But this was another nice play right here, a, a streak out of the backfield to the halfback. We've seen that be a real popular play throughout this tournament. Chris Johnson having a good early game in this one for Volt. So 88 seconds left in the first quarter. Ball now to 27 and it's the first down for Volt. The good news is the closer you get him in the red zone, the least opportunity he has to break out that swerve. And it's a fumble and picked up by Boogs. They're going to have to look at this one. Yeah, they're going to have to take a look at this yeah. one here. It, it looks as though his knee was down. Take yep. a look at the replay handoff. Love that uh, that view right there. And Johnson, He's yeah. down. And they knee. will change the call. Yeah. He'll yep. have it back. Good eyes there, partner. Unfortunate break there for Boogs. That would have been a nice freebie to have. So he's going to go strong formation here. A lot of running room right in this area of the field. Right up the middle there. Take it right up there. He's told us time and time again is not a lot of confidence in his red zone offense, but he's going to 
Rumble down to the 13. Isn't that the other thing here, right? I mean, you get into the red zone, you almost sigh of relief if your book's on defense because, okay, now I can really pony up. You know, maybe that's where you start trying to attack a guy like uh, Volderex, really clamp down in the red zone for opportunities. He talked about bringing pressure in your scouting report. Haven't seen it yet from Boogs. Nothing yet. That's the other thing the swerve will do, too. You know, make you think about it. There's Grandpa Volt looking on. Nobody more nervous in the building no, than that man right there. Grandpa Volt's nervous. Boogs' wife and kids are nervous. Sure. This is just a nervous game. <laughs> I'm nervous for them. There's Boogs' family you can see there. The girl on the left, it's her birthday, nine years old today. Wow. Two lucky guys playing in this one, I can tell you that. Nice play. And Moss is down to the one, and Boogs. It's time to put up a fence, a defense. Yeah, and here you go. You get into this situation, protect against the quarterback sneak, make them go for a toss, outside run. That's usually the strategy you see in these situations. Right here, you can see Boogs stacks the middle of the field with the defender. Take with that sneak. Barking out the orders is McNabb. He's got... CJ all the way in the back, and he's just going to let the first quarter wind down. And 0 0 after five minutes, but the ball's at the one yard line. We're, we're close to booking the last two <laughs> seats here to the final 16. Yep. Nine months of competition. You got the classic, you got the bowl, you got the challenge here at the championship, giving away $500,000 to its entire field. Couldn't ask for a better tournament. Yeah, Dubby and Hollywood punch their ticket out of Group G. Nice fullback. And down. there it is. CJ2K. A little throwback to Madden 16 there. Throwback to Madden 16. Grandpa Volt, sigh of relief on that one after he gets the this touchdown. But great play recognition, right, by by, uh, by Volt. He, he recognizes before the, the end of the first quarter, the quarterback sneaks defeated. He comes back to the fullback dive here, anticipating the same defensive look. So good change of pace there to get the touchdown. So after a... Touchdown run, it's gonna be Boogs is gonna have an opportunity to answer. Through an interception down by the goal line, Night Train Lane picked him off on his first drive. A lot of work now to do here. Volt in the driver's seat. We've seen him put up points in a hurry, so you never want to go down against Volt. There's Matthew Stafford and can't get away from the pressure. Night Train is everywhere. He's picking off passes and he's packing up a sack lunch. This type of defensive pressure from Volarex, really difficult to defend, almost impossible to pick up even if you block extra players. It's delayed, which comes from outside here, outside there, doesn't matter. You then drop the weak side defenders into coverage, man them up. It's absolute hell to, to defend against. Were you a uh, pack lunch guy at school or did you eat the school food? I'll tell That's you right a bomb! Now. Forget about it! Cause Bugs is eating it up! Pack that in your lunch, write a little love note. Love you, son, in there, touchdown. All smiles from the girls right there. Boogs looking on, we got a tie ball game after you put this extra point away. It's a way you bounce back there if you're Boogs. Take, Take a, a look, look at it again. It is a bomb, Gibbs. Pressure off that left edge, no problem. 90 yard pass to pay dirt, tied ball game. And to answer your question, Oh yeah, I was a big time, big time brown bag lunch guy. Shark bites, remember those? You got a great white shark. Lunchables? You were, you were the god at the table. Lunchables in there, Capri Sun? No, never Lunchable guy. High, uh, high C fruit punch. High C fruit Fantastic. punch is solid. Stuff. First and 10. I've learned by calling all these games, if I get into story mode, yeah. that's when they start scoring a lot of points. That's the best time to do it. You, ever, you know what, every once in a while, mom would go to Costco, she'd come home, she'd have the, uh, the Echo High C cooler, the green High C. That's the best stuff in the business. So that's what's wrong with you. Yeah. Second and seven, the bomb. And it can't hold on to it. Tell a story, they throw it deep. That's the way it goes. Simple. That's simple the way as it that. goes. As simple as that. Third and seven. Ball at the 28. See if we can engage the swerve bot. Ball to 28. McNabb. 
Quick throw to the outside. That's going to pick up the first down, and Chad Johnson will lean for more to the 41-yard line. So, you know, last time we were here, the, what I remembered was Volt just throwing it all over the field. Now he's sort of well, decided bounced. to dink and dunk. He's, he's run the ball with Johnson. Pretty good look thus far. Been able to control this game so far on the ground and the pass. Ooh. Short passes, quick inside runs. He's done a phenomenal job of evolving his offense. You know, we said that he was going to live and die by the swerve, but he's really been able to change his game plan here, go to the swerve only when he needs it. You know that spinner concept, you're able to bring seven defenders to stop the run. The problem is, sometimes they pick up the block. Next thing you know, the guy's gone because safeties are too busy playing man defense. Second and eight. Hands it off to Johnson, and Johnson will get to the 47-yard line. So first down, Boogs talking to himself. Don't often hear Boogs talking no. to himself, so starting to understand the, the pressure this moment. We'll pick up two, so, well, they're going to make it just a yard, so one and a half on first down. We'll mark it at second and nine. Yeah, and for the number three pass yards per game, this entire field of 32, Volderex now has rushed the ball 12 times with Chris Johnson, so really changing his game plan here in this one. Off to Chris Johnson again. This time he doesn't gain much. Boogs has earned $28,000 in change over this season. Volt has earned 11 racks. Both looking Not to, too bad. Both looking to get five additional yeah. thousand dollars by getting out of this group. And it gets exponential from there. Look at Volt with that controller. The Iron Man controller. Customization, yeah. Before. Yeah, I like that. Picks up the first down at the 35. McNabb, five of eight for 70 yards. And that's Harris's first catch of the game. We're really starting to see Volderex wear out these quick out patterns to his halfback to his tight ends. He's taking a halfback, he's putting them on a little out pattern like this on the backfield. The tight ends are on outs as well. And they hand it off to Chris Johnson, and he'll move forward to the 31-yard line. We're in the first half, and Swerve Bot, my man Volt, has run the ball 14 times. We said we said that the, the focus of his this game was going to be the swerve, but it's yeah. really been this run here, ball control style offense. That might be a lot of respect to the guy he's playing. Boogs, one of the best offenses in the game. So ball at the 31. Touchdown apiece. But Volterax is on the drive. At some point you expect a little swerve to uh -oh. Moss, though. Emotion didn't Moss, <laughs> but he's going to hand it off. Right? <laughs> Anytime you see a motion, a man, you're like, uh oh. Is he going to do what I think he's going to do? Get a little speed burst, bang, downfield. Tutty. So third and three. Not a lot of room, right in the middle of the field. A lot of, lot of space there with Johnson on these little dives. Gets a block. Good D, Boogs. It's going to be a big fourth down, and Boogs is going to use a timeout there to. Stop the clock at a minute 44 left and a half. He knows every second's crucial. Smart timeout. Get him to fourth and three spot. You can get a stop here, your ball back, and you'll have a plenty of time to go put together your own scoring drive. Do you agree with perhaps going for it here? I do because the 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 way that Volt's offense works, he can score points at will when he goes to the swerve. So every possession, yeah, go for this touchdown. Does have three timeouts if he happens to change his mind. Fourth and three. Everyone's getting motioned. Watch Hayward Bay on a playmaker here. The verticals run downfield. And throws a pick to Bradbury. Let's go. And he might take this to the crib at the 30, the 20, the 10. See ya. Bye, Felicia. Grandpa Volt. Not One more locked up, man. Ah, not dang. happy there. A great defensive like adjustment. Before, kid. What the hell is going on with you? Man? Little pep talk. Sometimes you got to give yourself the big game speech. Yeah, a little flat route on the right side. Hard flat out pattern to Hayward Bay. And just like that, Boogs on top of Volderex. We got to start thinking at some point, Volt's going to start going to this stupid. swerve now, Bust being trailed down. So if I let you use a lifeline, would you kick the field goal there, Gibbs? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. Oh, hindsight's always 20 20, and 94 seconds left in the half. And here we go. This is the yeah. part we all know and love. I, I've, I've seen this formation a oh, time no. or two. <laughs> oh, no. Get ready. Bugs going bailing on it all the way down there. Great yep. check down. He'll just give it to Chris Johnson, but that's 15 yards there on first down. He just got three timeouts here as we're approaching a minute 20 left in this first half. Volt 1 0, Bugs 0 1. Both these guys need it. You know, talked about it. The worst feeling you can have in Madden besides going 0 3 is going 2 1 and not getting out of the groups. Sickening. If you remember lights out last Flat, week, our man. week one goes two and one, ends up beating Strafen. They're both two and one, but yep. Strafen advances. Both great players, but those are the things with the group stage that get you going. Lights out when a of course Strafen too, two great guys. Always good to see the Madden guys out here doing work. Where am I? We, we saw the emotion from Grandpa Volt, but I'm telling you, if you get these guys one on one and talk about what Madden means to them and the life-changing things that have could happen. Black round. Black round the other side. Black That's what it's all about. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Hundred thousand on the line for the winner of the whole thing. These guys are trying to get out of the groups so they can have a chance in those single elimination rounds. We're in Group H, Game Two, final group. Started with 32 players. We've eliminated some of those. By four the end left. of the day, we'll eliminate half. Yeah, we got four left. That's it. Yeah. Unbelievable this ride here, these two weeks so far. A lot of cops. A lot of cop salads, a lot of <laughs> suntan lotion. A lot of suntan lotion, getting bronzed up. Me at the pool reminds me when I play pickup <laughs> basketball, everybody wants me to keep my shirt on. <laughs> Second on. inches. <laughs> It's gotten funnier and funnier as this whole thing has gone on, I'll tell you. You're going in on our team, but you just you bust out the, the false jokes with me. Yes. Second and inches. And it's a Go. fumble. Bugs Go. picks it up. Marsh. And I love it when the fat guys rumble down to the 22. Grandpa Volt looking on. Listen, this is opportunistic football right now for Bugs. If you told him you have a pick six, and another fumble to get into scoring range before half, you'd say, okay, I feel good about my chances of beating Volt. So first and 10 for Bugs. Got an opportunity after the turnover. Throws it to the end zone, and it's Randy freaking Moss. Absolute hot one in the back of the end zone right there. Deep corner pattern, Moss for six. This makes it a two-score game, and let's be honest, I got to look at this again. Yeah, take a look at this. Deep corner right here to Moss. He's going to break here. Great pass lead back of the end zone against Lonnie Ballantyne in that short Come flat. Up, yeah, Ballantyne is a 63 bronze. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Scott, I've got a touchdown for you. It's franchise GG corner out end zone ties it up at seven. We've yet to see a completed swerve from Volt, but there's 17 seconds left, two timeouts, so buckle up, my friend. The here we go. The strategy from Boogs is to take his user defender right here, and he just runs after Moss. Just bails. Not in this formation, but in the main swerve formation. Goes short. He's going to use one of those timeouts, so 12 ticks. He knows how important even three could be right now for Volt. Yeah, that's where I think he's going to those check downs. Yes, protect against those deep routes. The, ch the underneath ones will be open. Yeah, Volt not really showing the, the swerve. Two turnovers for Volt has led to 14 points. McNabb Great stat. throws it to the side, and he's going to break free. Darius Hayward Bay, the former Marin Turpin. Fear the turtle, my friend. Touchdown. Grandpa Volt approves on that one. And when we talk about the swerve, but we also need to talk about the speed of Volt's offense. Take a look right here. A little vertical down that left sideline. Hayward Bay takes advantage of that six foot two frame. All that speed. Tough to defend. And now that's a that's almost a freebie right there for Volt. That was Darius Slay on the coverage. He is a Detroit Lion. You heard Boogs during the replay say 
Man, should have manned up that guy on the outside. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. The good news, Bugs and Bugs fam. You got a touchdown lead. Touchdown lead right now against the Swerve Bot, and we are getting. <laughs> We're in for a good second half, my friend. We haven't even seen the Swerve really come into play here. And I like the way that Boogs is defending the Swerve and the few times we've seen it. He's completely bailing out on everything, giving Volt all the underneath options. So that might be a, a sign that Volt doesn't have all the confidence to throw the Swerve downfield. We'll see it as a developing story in the second half. Well, they got a Cobb salad waiting over there for you. Crush it. And you can get that while we take a halftime report with Dave and the guys. Thanks a lot, fellas. Rico, we heard uh, Scott and Gibbs both mention we haven't seen a lot of swerve out of Volterax. What has he been doing besides the swerve to kind of keep himself in this ballgame? Boogs has been making it very tough for him to throw the swerve, and they're making him check down and dink and dunk his way up. He caught Boogs sleeping on that last play before the half, but I'd be a little bit nervous if I was Boogs. I'm only up seven, and he hasn't hit me with the swerve yet. You know it's, it's just a matter of time before it comes. He needs to continue to play that solid defense. That's right. He is, uh, he's got the right kind of offense to get back into a game when he's down. We did have a slight delay in our other game, but we are back, and Zach has been checking out this game from the get-go. Zach, what have you seen so far? I think we're going to take a, a live look into this game yeah, right now. Yeah, Gibbs tripped over the wire and disconnected the internet, but we're back <laughs> up and running. we got a tie game here. Here it's Kerry Q against Franchise. Fourth and four coming up, and it is completed but dropped, and Franchise takes back over on offense. Second quarter here, so we'll make sure to keep this one going forward. Rico, I also heard that Gibbs, that birthday cake, he brought it back to the hotel. He's supposed to bring it in for Boog's daughter's birthday today, and he left it at the hotel, so that's not great. That's not great. There's just Fake a lot news. Of <laughs> this is, this is news. That's a terrible fumble. Yeah. <laughs> that is a terrible fumble. I mean, he had one job. He basically had one job. One job right here for Franchise, though, is to go 2-0, Rico. How impressed would you be if he's able to take down Kerry? I'd actually be shocked because the way the Madden action has gone these last couple weeks, I think we're destined for two one-and-ones and everybody going for the winning get in. This, these guys have been playing their hearts out. Everybody's left everything on the field. You see them getting close to that money, getting close to that belt. They can feel it, mm. and everybody's trying to bring their best out, and it's just going to keep getting better and better. Yeah, it's it's showing. Every single game today has just been a legendary game, basically. I want to remind everybody who is tuning in at home that you can watch the best FIFA 17 players compete in the FUT Championship Series on May 19th and 20th. For more information, you can visit FUTChampions.com. Still to come today, we have to finish out group play. That is going to be Boogs taking on Kerry Q next and Franchise taking on Volterax. But for right now, we've got Drea with Volterax on the sidelines. Drea? Thanks so much, Dave. Volt, the swerve is what people associate with you. How can you get that going more and make that more of an imprint in the second half? Well, he's been playing really good defense, so if he keeps playing that kind of defense, it's, it's not going to be able to get swerved. We had Grandpa Volt here on the stage. He was very emotional. I got emotional after the interview. I told my super producer, Mike Burks, that I had to hold back the tears on that. What does it mean to you to have him in attendance here today? He's just such a special guy. Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, last time he drove, this time he flew with me, and it's, it's really great having him here. And all the family watching at home, it's, it's great that they're watching too. All right, we'll send a shout out to your family real quick. Yeah, shout out to everyone watching at home, my mom, my dad, and, and everyone else. I know there's a lot more than that watching. All right, well, we're going to let you get set and focus for the second half. Best of luck. Thanks. All right, let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. Thank you so much. All I need to know is what's the P.O. box so I can join the Volt fan club? The I Volt want in. Clan. I want in. I'm in. I'm in. Dude, I'm telling you what, this guy is electric. He's down seven right now to the number six player in the world. Boogs has looked better with his reads, but he's going to need a good second half. He's doing a great job defending the swerve downfield. You heard it right there from Voldrex himself. He's saying that he's phenomenal defense to take that away. It's a non-factor thus far in this game, but it really is opening up all those underneath options, and Bugs will have to adjust to that in the second half to try and catch uh, Voldrex off guard. Well, a lot of times, you know, in this maturation of Volt, we've seen him force the swerve. He sort of learned maybe a little ground and pound, dink and dunk. Take what the defense has given you. Chris Johnson has been the difference maker in Volt's offense. And, and as well, let's, let's also go to a, a Darius Harry Bay. We can say speed has been the difference yeah. maker in his wow. offense, really taking this game. All this running room right there in the middle of the field. Bang, right up the middle. Right up the gut. 
That's where he goes, but he doesn't get a block, and it's a fumble. And Donovan McNabb might have saved Volt's future. Phenomenal user play by Boogs. Shoots the gap, avoids the blockers. Big time hit, but he doesn't pick it up. He's got to feel good about that run defense. So it's second and 14. Just working into the third quarter. Trying to tie things up, goes to the edge. And that'll pick up 18. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Scott, here it is. It's Kerry Q on the ground one more time. Marshawn Lynch breaks it all the way home for a long touchdown. He's up 14-7. I can tell what the score is because franchise is very quiet. <laughs> That's always a good, good sign. <laughs> Good sign if you're Kerry Q. Good sign if you're Volderax's run game right here. 20 rushes, 88 yards. It's really been the focus of his offense here. He's evolving in front of us. You said the maturation process of Volt. We're seeing it here now. Best players in the world adapt in the biggest moments. So second and six. Already a minute gone by here in the second half. McNabb going to work. The ultimate legend's just going to throw it away. Good defense right there by Boogs. Protects the deep sidelines there. But I also like Volderex using the underneath receiver as a playmaker option. You see there, nine completions out of 15 attempts for a buck 78 through the air for Volt's offense. Bunch to the right, Moss to the left. A lot Little of outs motion. here. A lot of outs. Here comes the pressure, and he's got to throw it away. Fourth and six, and let me just be honest, he's going for it. Great defensive stand right there from Books. Earlier in the game, we saw Volderex go to those out patterns to convert on, on third and, uh, third down situations. Great adjustment. Books protected him. Now we're in fourth down. So fourth and six. Got a lot of guys up on the line, but the safeties are deep. High snap. Coverage. McNabb forces one in there. Moss had Clark hanging all over him. That's Frank Clark. He's only a 63 bronze, but he just made a huge play for Boogs. Uh, I know you said Figgy was your guy earlier, but I think <laughs> Frank Clark has been your guy in this yep. tournament. You called him out many, many times. He's the fake Anthony Barr wearing that <laughs> 55. Fake Barr. So first and 10 on the... Turnover on downs and Boogs pressure out the left. And he fumbles and picked up by Lamb. <laughs> it's what's for dinner. <laughs> now, great defensive pressure, really tough to de defend against. It comes from the outside slot corner, or the outside, far outside corner. You can't pick that pressure up because it's coming from such depth. We call that a bleacher blitz. It comes from the bleachers, the stands. And you, can, you never know, is it out here or is it out here? Which what side is it coming from? That's you why you know. get yourself a Kendall Lamb. <laughs> Great hands. Good run. And Chris Ivory, so pure Let's of a go, touchdown. Untouched to off Let's the go. right edge. Walk up one more time. Go. And Boogs is feeling it. Looking to go one and one here. And at some point, you got to start asking, one when is Bolt going to go to the swerve? Here's again, Look at untouched that off that right yeah. edge. Randy Moss getting out on the safety. You don't see that up there. Nobody often. there, no. And we got a 14-point game as Volt gets sticky with it to the 29-yard line. Two touchdown game, three minutes to go here in the third. And now, do you go? Gotta go for so it. a little bit of swerve. I mean, this is how you got here. You played over 1,300 games, won 87% of them. I know you run the ball well, and you feel confident in your ground game. And yes, Boogs is showing you a look that's taking that swerve away, making it less effective, but you haven't really gone to it. You haven't really forced the issue. We would really like to see him go to it here. Yeah, here we go. Get one right now. Empties the backfield on second and six. Motions Moss, and there he goes. He's gonna, it's, it's gonna be intentional grounding when we come back. Let's take a game break. 
Scott, we're looking live at the final drive of the second quarter. Carey with the ball, just converted on a huge fourth and three. Franchise threw a pick, he thought he threw a high pass. He didn't get it. Carey got an Anthony Barr interception. Now he's driving just before the half. He's finding some routes. He's got 22 seconds, one timeout left. We'll see if he's gonna hold that final timeout. It looks like he's gonna come right back to the huddle with 16, 15, 14. He's on the brink of field goal range. He's got a seven point lead here over Franchise. Short pass, dropped. We're gonna hang on and see if he can get one more play with this second and 10. With that drop, the clock stops. So he has the one timeout now. He can throw down the middle, which he's done multiple times. He likes to go deep, look for that post route. He likes to go to these streaks here. We'll see if he decides to just hit it one time outside or go with what he needs to get to get into field goal range. Possibly just a simple run, take a two possession lead. Gary mixing it up. Drops back, he's got Robert Griffin as his quarterback, goes downfield, the swerve for Moss, drops it, Scott, and it looks like he's gonna have to settle over here. Well, he's got Billy Cundiff as his kicker over there, Zach, so probably gonna have to go for it. Instead of kicking the 57 yarder. 28-14 over here. The Volts worked it down to the 33, and he's gonna throw it away. Take out the big run here that we missed. Yeah, Donovan McNabb, mobility, goes for the swerve. You see Boog's user, he bails on the swerve. Three defenders going after Moss. Volt wisely takes the run 21 yards on the ground with McNabb. It's the 99 ultimate legend. Spent the third most cap on his quarterback. Looking, has time. Watch for the scramble now. Good read. And finds Randy Moss. We'll see if they give him the forward progress. And they will not. So he caught it beyond the line, but falls down untouched at the 25. So it's going to be third and two. Yeah, now third and two. You have to give yourself short options here. Now you're out of swerve territory. You can also run the ball here. Play action, throws it up, and there is Moss, and he drops it. A little bit of a monster action right there, quick pop pass. And now... Going for it, I think it's the right decision. Yeah, you're down 14. And Boogs is rolling. Yeah, and Boogs, yeah. And Boogs train all aboard, choo-choo. Yep. Fourth and two, a very manageable spot to be in. So we're gonna watch out for here. This little route out of the backfield here to, to Johnson, and you're gonna watch quick out patterns here and here. You tight ends. You also oh, got to watch him putting it in the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Fourth and two. Going to get a playmaker, your, your slot defender right here. Your slot uh, receiver. Corners press up. Could can't get rid of it. And there is Ray. We talked about what a value player he is in 84 gold. And he's in there, and it's another turnover on downs. Yeah, very difficult to take the uh, the, the sack there to get the turnover. Right now, Boogs clicking on all cylinders in this one. I will say one thing. That is six points that he could have had. If he would have kicked field goals both times, he would have been a one-possession game. Ivory had a big touchdown run a moment ago, and stiff arms. One guy and carries three to the 45 yard line. Yeah, and he's getting great run blocking. I can say engage eight right there from Volt. So gets very aggressive uh, in his play call. He knows that's a running formation from Boog's offense. Second and two. Forty-five seconds left in the quarter. Has a man wide open and he he overthrew him. Have to hide ball, yeah. Major overthrow. Completely sailed it. That was a big ball. opportunity blown. Stafford, you can see right here, look at this. Streaking down the field. No one there to defend him. And he just sails it over his head. It was Missed wide open in Burbank, and he threw it to Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> threw it to the coast. <laughs> and the ocean. Uncle Rico could throw it over the mountains. I can tell you that. Debatable. Third and two. Little motion. The run here, right here, off that edge. You need some blocking. Oh. And he does need some blocking. <laughs> You're right, partner. Big time sack. <laughs> Opposite of the pass up. But again, you can see the aggressive nature from Volt. Wow. Engage eight. Anticipating run. I'm sure he was 
dropping some defenders into zone coverages there. But I, I like the play call from Boogs, thinking that Volt is going to play aggressive like that. Thinks the flats were open, just didn't get the ball quick enough. Yeah, he's butt naked. All you have to do is just throw it. Boogs, you are right. There's only three guys in coverage. Well, there's only one guy on the left side. Fourth and nine. And Boogs will kick it away as the quarter is close to winding down. Dion. All right, lock up again. How about that play distribution on that screen we just saw? Where, you know, 10 plays on offense for Boats versus Volt's numerous plays. It's the story of this one. When I first knew about Deion Sanders, I'll tell you after this play, story time, you know it's going deep. And that's what I do. Moss, tell a story, <laughs> tell get a, a touchdown. Too easy. Randy yeah. Moss. <laughs> Swerve, bot, engaged. Yeah, I mean, it's just too easy at this point, right? You know, you tell a quick story. <laughs> you know they're going downfield. I'm just making up things now. I'm Fire just making it up. Fireside chat to Scott and Gibbs. Here you we go. This year. I you talk and they send it deep. You brought that upon books. And I'll be honest, he didn't really even no, swerve he that. He just beat Night Train Lane to speed. the crib. It's a speed on speed right there. So we got a seven-point game now just when you thought Boogs was in control. Here comes Volterax, the man from Massachusetts. And he is a Massachusetts Minute Man. He's oh, a guy that can score in of course seconds. Looking good in those Patriots uniforms. He also competed in the, the New England Patriots Club Series uh, as well. Did a great did. job there. He lost in the final game there to shut it down. Maybe gave it away. Yeah. Of course, Skimbo didn't win it either. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> Skimbo lost early on that one. And a quick throw to Johnson. Of course, Skimbo's happy anytime we say his name. Skimbo, Skimbo, Skimbo. <laughs> Anyways, watching the stream right now going, yeah, keep saying our name, Gibbs. Come on. Do they Skimbo, have the Skimbo, internet Skimbo. in Oklahoma? Ooh, it's new. slow burn. It's, it's new out there. Slow burn. I'm sure we'll hear about that I'd next spent, week. I spent 20 years in Dallas, <laughs> Texas, so a little bit of that hatred Skimbo rubbed off of me. Is Skimbo an OKC fan? You think? Oh, yeah. No, he's a Patriots fan. Oh, well, you're talking about football? They don't have yeah. a team. No, I know. And that includes the Oklahoma Sooners. Meanwhile, back on the ranch here. 28-21 is her score. And they'll throw it away. So he's six for nine for 181 yards. Hasn't had to throw it a lot. No, it's it's been his defense and the opportunistic mistakes from, from Volt. Didn't go for those two field goals, as yeah. he said. Those six points left off the scoreboard. He had the sack fumble. He had the interception. That's been the difference in this one. His offense hasn't really looked like Boogs' his offense were custom to seen from him. I could tell a story if you'd like me to. You should. Start one right now. Second and ten. And Stafford, a little bit of pump fake, and then throws it away. Well, he had a vertical down the middle of the field he wanted to target, but the pressure again off that edge really been the story this one. This corner blitz has been around the community for a very long time. A lot of people have been running it throughout the season, but Volderick's doing a great job of changing it up from pressure off the left and right sides, really forcing Boogs into bad situations. We'll have a timeout here by Boogs on third and ten. And it sounded like that was a timeout maybe he didn't want to use. Yeah, you know, you're playing with the lead, so it's okay to use that timeout here. You still feel confident, but that could have been an early uh, timeout use here in this fourth quarter. It's a big third down. Every time you pick up a first down, that's a minute and change that goes off the clock. Third and ten, bunch to the right. Harrison solo left. Stafford, here comes the heat. Lucky that it just falls harmlessly to the turf. Fourth and ten. Yes, yeah, so difficult to gauge where the pressure is coming from here. Fourth and ten now. Going for it? And he is Question going mark? for it. He's going for the gusto here. Fourth and ten for the bread. Feeling confident about his defense. That's all I can say about that. The question now is where's the pressure coming from? He brought it off here last time. Off that edge, but it's most likely going to come off the outside corner spot. If you aren't going to block Ivory or Cook, you better try to swing it out to him quick. Pressure to the left edge. Roll out. Got time. Has time. No one's you got to throw it. It's just like a punt. And lucky. It was an 11-yard punt. That's the way to look at it. Yeah, that's the way to look at it. But what happens there is he, he keeps all the his pass protection in. But look at There's one vertical, two vertical, three vertical. Where are your short options? I know it's fourth and ten, but you need to give yourself a bailout, a hot read on that one. All verticals downfield. No one to throw to. So 404. That's the area code in Atlanta. 
Now get a but it's Volterax, the guy from Boston with the rock. Got to dial up some pressure, and he will. Have you met Night Train Lane? Zach, give me a game break. Scott Carey's going after that W, goes downfield here, and if Franchise was a franchise, he would be Blockbuster right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best one we've heard that's from him. That's cold. <laughs> that's cold. Wow. I used to love Blockbuster. Go there, scope it out, get some, some games. Oh, my goodness. Get you a Madden 04. Oh. Get some gummy bears. Second and 20. Don't get into storytelling I, unless you want to see a bomb. Got one, X. And that's a terrible throw. Missed read Not his right fault, there. but it's a misread. Yeah, very, I mean, second and 20 there, and he had a huge play on that left sideline, wide open corner pattern, completely blew that read. Very, you don't get those open receivers like that open very often, so big mistake there from Volt. We're in the final group of the Madden 17 Championship, Group H. Game number two, Boogs is 0-1, lost the franchise. What? Yes, lost the franchise. And Volterax is 1-0. and That's why this is a big game right here, and this is a big 327. We still got one more game coming up here in the group stages. And then the fun starts next week. Let's check in with Zach. Looking live, franchise down in the red zone with one more stand, but Kerry is going to easily punch it in. And if franchise were a franchise, Scott, he'd be the Cleveland Browns. Back to you. <laughs> Keep them coming, my man. Jeez. He's over here at the buffet. He's trying to get something to eat. They're doing game breaks. Fourth and guy's, two, though. This guy's killing it all, all, all week. A multitasker. And take a look at these timeouts being used by both these players, and a lot of it has to do with the back end swerve going on, right? So he, he Volt comes out in a formation. You saw Boogs then use a timeout previously to get into a better defense to defend against a swerve. Now Volt comes out here. He gets a read on the defense. He calls a timeout because he doesn't like what he's seen. So cat and mouse between these two, and it all starts with the ability of Volt to swerve downfield. So fourth and two, another big fourth down. He's not boated well in fourth down conversions this game. Watch Books bail out and defend Moss downfield here with his user. User right here. He you should you bail cannot deep. try to stop giving up two and end up giving up 40 yards. There's the bail. He comes back down. Come Throws back. it down there, and that's what the Swerve Bot does. Engage down to the eight. So difficult, Books. He goes right here. User defender comes back down, leaves the Moss route one on one. The first time he's left Moss downfield in a one-on-one -on -one situation, he pays for it. That's all it takes. Back to Chris Johnson. Great defense up the middle by Boogs. If you ever told me, I'd see a game where Volt ran the ball 22 times. Almost getting to 100 yards <laughs> of the ground there, too. I would tell you you're crazy. I'd tell you never come back. <laughs> no, you come back. <laughs> it's a second and goal from the eight-yard line. 113 yards on the ground for Volt, 53 for Boogs. High formation. Well. Motion Moss to the left. McNabb throws it in traffic. And that one falls to the turf. A yeah, good user right there by Boogs over the middle of the field. He was trying to protect the deep middle part of the field. Then he collapsed back down, got in that catch and traffic area, helped break up that pass. This is where Volt says that one of the biggest weaknesses of his game is his offense in the red zone. Ever since the tip drill chemistry, I don't call a pass incomplete until it's on the <laughs> turf. Facts only. Third oh, and goal, that. and that one's incomplete, and that'll bring up a fourth down, and here's another chance that you... Well... Do you kick the field goal or not? I think you got to go for it here. You got to go for it here with 2.07 remaining, but let's let's rewind a little bit here. Those two field yep. goals he could have gone for would have put him in a position to go for the lead now with another. Left six points out there. It's just He's just a go for it on fourth down guy. Plays the percentages. Bunch to the right. This could be the game for Volt. Couple Ohios from McNabb. Hayward Bay back at the end zone here. Also Johnson. That's where he's going to go. Throws it in traffic and... Dude, there's four guys there, my man. Literally four guys right there. And Grandpa Volt, not happy about that one. 
A little bit of a forced throw. Yes, that is Randy Moss, but you can't throw at four guys and expect Moss to come down with it. So first and 10 from the eight. We'll have the two minute warning right here. And that does help Volk, because now he has he has two yep. timeouts, got the two minute warning. So you could get two stops here and get the ball back. Yeah, great observation there. Uh, the two timeouts up here at the top of the screen, going to play a pivotal role in this one. Throws it Woo! to the side, that's Ivory. And that, my friend, is a dangerous pass. Dangerous pass, but you know, he did put a little touch <laughs> on that pass. You can tap the receiver's yes. icon and you can get a touch pass. So, Whew. I mean, <laughs> living dangerously yeah. right there. This is a white gloves moment. Handle with care. Already Third 30 and five. five, yep. One timeout left for Volt. Blitz, quick throw though, and Johnson catches it, goes to the ground. That'll move the chains and that'll move the clock. And Boog's big sigh of relief there. He knows how big that first down is. You said earlier in this one, every first down gets to you about another minute to waste off the clock. Volt only has that one timeout now. We might see some QB kneels already from Boog's here. Yeah, this is a tight game. Our side match getting a little bit out of hand. We'll give you some updates on that. How about we all go one and one in the final group to get some <laughs> winning your in games. Winning your in. Let's go to Zach for an update. Scott, I'm over here with the Kerry Q Enron game. And if the franchise was a franchise, it'd be Chick-fil-A because he closed on Sunday. <laughs> oh, Anthony wow. Barr with his third pick of the game makes it a field goal, 31-7. Low key though, I'll take that Polynesian sauce six days a week. Stuff is delicious. Great spicy chicken deluxe sandwich as well. And he's gonna take a knee. Well, no, he's gonna take a timeout. Take a timeout, take another knee. Well, it's third and 13. I think you at least run the ball here. Yeah. Putting the ball in the air doesn't make you feel good, because remember, Oof, you boy. got the swerve on the opposite side. Bro, what do you do here? I mean, it's, you know, we've you run. seen a lot of Madden. Scoop and score is a possibility, and I think he finally went through the mental pretzel and said, all right, I'm just gonna knee it here. I'm not gonna try to push it. Hey, hey Volt's gonna get Two opportunities to do something here. <laughs> he's gonna get a punt return. And he's gonna get two or three swerve attempts. So this is this is gonna get interesting here in this final possession. I kick this inbounds. Oh. I want every second to come off that clock. That great, I can. great call there. Yes, let the time come off the clock. Huge. And so Dion will get to the outside. He's on his horse. Oh no. And oh no, we are in But one play, yeah. all that does is now he has one play. It, maybe two, maybe. The, the thing, that, that great return though, gets him into position where if yeah. he does pull the swerve off, he will be in the end zone most likely. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. All right, swerve bot All these defenders activated. deep. All these guys deep back here, protect against Moss. He's gonna go downfield a little bit. This will be the final play. He'll throw it toward the end zone. Randy Moss! And cannot connect. And Books has got himself back into the group stage with a win. Oh my goodness. All right, let's kick it over to Zach. He's got the final coming up in that game.